This morning, we are kicking off an eye-opening series. Have you ever wondered how often you, well, you need to be washing our dishwasher, or do you even need a washer? How about the shower? What about changing your sheets? Well, we've got Shop Today editorial director Adriana Brock here to come clean with all the answers. So, Ms. A, here we go. Uh, we're all really kind of fat. We do not have the answers. Good. So, I'm so debate. happy. All right, let's start with the first uh, one, you guys. How often to shower how per often? week? Yes. How many mm. times do you think you should shower per week, according to dermatologists? I bet they're going to say C, five C. Times. I'm going to say every day, even though I know it's Yeah, I don't C. care what they say. I'm going to say A. <laughs> well, you guys are all wrong. The oh. answer is actually B, two to three uh, times per what? week. There are seven days in yes, the week. Yes, there are seven days in the week. Now, is that for kids or adults? Again, like adults smell. So the consensus is two to three times per week, but it does depend on the person. I'm looking at Elle's <laughs> face like, what is this? It depends on the person, your lifestyle, your skin type, your Lifestyle? Age. Your activity level as well. So if you're someone who has a, a laborious job, so you're a teacher or maybe you work in healthcare, you probably are showering more often than the normal person. Mm -hmm. Again, if you work out, you're also showering more often. At the end of the day, it's all personal preference, and I think the reason why... Not if you come in contact with other people. <laughs> no, but I actually believe it. Like, I think for our, for the sake of our skin, if we're talking to dermatologists, right. yes. like, take the ones, out the other factors exactly. if you're worried about your skin health. Exactly. So what they say is you have this natural bacteria that lives all over your skin. It's part of your, part of your microbiome, right? So you don't want to compromise that because it does help sort of protect you. And then there's other people who have skin issues, dry skin, mm -hmm. eczema, eczema, rosacea, all these factors come into play. And when you're you know, scrubbing and using soap and harsh detergents. I can't stop looking at Al. Yeah, it just, could get a little bit like dicey. Two times a day, or but it, you guys, I shower twice a day. That's yeah. too much. At the end of the day, okay. it's question. all personal preference. Okay. And you guys, there's this trend called the everything shower. Have you guys heard about this? No. Okay, it's taking over TikTok and it's trending like crazy. It's a ritual where you're taking your shower into a spa-like experience. So you're doing everything in the shower. You're washing your hair. Oh, I don't you're like exfoliating that. from head to toe. You're you're shaving. I did a eucalyptus spray this you could, morning. You could get fancy with. It. So this is kind of like, you know, if you're doing an everything shower, mm -hmm. you can afford to do it two to three times shower. a week. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, um, since we're also not clean, I feel like this changes my answer to the next question. How often should we be changing our bedding? What do you guys think this is? Well, when, this is replacing the actual oh. bedding that you own, not oh, like changing the sheets. your sheets. Like the mattress? Oh. Bedding, sheets, pillowcases. Oh, oh, oh. I don't change them. Uh, I just want I go with B. B every year? A. A, oh, every your six sheets? months? You Wait, I need to change sheets like I still have my grandmother's sheets. Okay. Dylan, it's time to replace them because you oh, guys are replace. all wrong. Yes, you should be replacing them every 18 to 24 months. Oh, yeah, months. no. Okay. I have because not only are those fibers breaking down, but think about, and I know, Al, you like to, to bring this up too, the sweat. The, you your, can't wash that out. It. You wash them, right? But yeah. you, you should wash them every two weeks, but you should also think about replacing them mm. every 18 to 24 I'm months. sorry, my grandmother's sheets are like the best sheets and aren't I they own. soft they and are, wonderful? They just hold I together. Agree. Like I have you newer know, sheets that don't hold you together can, as well. You can hang on to them, but it is recommended. Yes. One thing that yeah. um, some experts we spoke to brought up is like you do have some people sleep with their pets in the yeah. bed, which yeah. is totally yeah. fine. Yeah. All right. But, then, you know, okay. you should replace them You're as right. well. All right, next one. Um, ooh, the dishwasher. I've hey. never cleaned my dishwasher. Yeah, isn't it clean? It's yeah. a wash. <laughs> I go with A. Every month. Every month? Mr. Roker, you are correct. You should, be, you should be cleaning it every month. And you think about your dishwasher, right? It, its job is to, is to clean, to clean. So you shouldn't have to clean it. But then think about all the stuff you're putting in there. It builds up all the food, the debris, the grime, well, the soap. Your dishwasher looks like yeah, that. It's so gross. So an easy way to do it every month, you could fill up in a dishwasher safe uh, tub uh, some white vinegar, put it on the top rack. That was all white vinegar? Run a hot mm -hmm. cycle. Okay. Yep. And then afterwards, you could do the same thing with a shorter hot cycle with some baking soda towards the bottom. Okay. You should be doing this not just to clean up all that buildup that's in there, mm -hmm. but also you, you don't want to affect um, the efficacy of your dishwasher. Right. It's an appliance ah. that you spend a lot of money on True. and you want it to run well, yeah, so we'll okay. you gotta okay. maintain it. Okay, last one. Uh, luggage, travel bags. Once a year, after each use. Uh, oh, never. See, I almost do it after each use because I'm uh, I've been, we yeah, had an you, issue. You must we, have grown no, kids. No, no, <laughs> we, no, we, had, we had an issue stuff. with like uh, some bugs oh. in our luggage and then since then. Really? I would have just tossed it. You Sorry. guys, Mr. Roker is correct. It should be after each use. The correct answer is Who B. Who cleans their suitcase? <laughs> so, 
think about the suitcases. Think about how much money you spend on them and how long you've had them. And a lot of people out there are probably thinking, I've never cleaned my how luggage clean or my it? suitcase. You just put it There's in the different... dishwasher. <laughs> <laughs> no, you, you can use a general disinfecting wipe. Look at that. Get the I'm wheels, not doing that. get the handles. It's, it's an easy wipe down. Like cleaning... I think I have chewing gum in the wheels of my <laughs> yeah, I mean, Think about it. You're, you're, like you got, we all have these wheel luggage. You're wheeling it through everything on the street, on That's the like sidewalk. You're bringing the soles it in the house. Shoes. You're bringing it in right. the house. And then if you're like some people, like my husband, who like to plop it on the bed yeah. to sure, pack and unpack. Oh my yeah. gosh, it makes oh, me cringe. That's Please beige. wipe it down. If you have canvas totes, yeah. um, you can wash okay. them in the washer, but maybe throw a little bit longer in between. Very interesting. Adriana, thank yeah. you so wow. much. Thank you. Stuff. To Hope read up on something. these hot takes and more, uh, head to today.com slash how often. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.